I'm Edward Nines, and today I'm going to give you your practical for microscopes. Today we're going to be using a light microscope. So at the bottom of a light microscope, you have the mirror, you have the eyepiece, you have the arm, and the objectives. Okay, so objectives could also be known as lenses. So obviously what we need is light. So the light is a bit insufficient today in the classroom, so what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of light. Okay, make sure that the mirror and the light is working nicely and together. Then we are going to utilize a sharp knife and cut a piece of onion. What we want is the epidermis layer or a skin from the onion. Then we want to have a plate. Okay. And I just want to utilize my tongs so that I can easily get a piece of skin. Right, that is a really, really good piece of skin that I got here from the onion. I'm just going to spray it out onto my piece of glass here, or plate. And once I have placed it nicely on the glass, I'm going to utilize another piece of glass or plate to flatten it out. Okay, then I'm going to be placing it on the platform here, making sure that the light can shine through the skin. I'm going to utilize these arms to just clasp, or the clasps to clasp onto the plates. Okay, then what is important? I want to make sure that when I'm looking through the eyepiece, I have a clear picture. Now, in order to adjust that, there are two controls, the height and to refine it. So I want to make sure that the height is just right. Okay, and then I just want to refine it a little bit. What I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to take my phone and take a short video clip that I'll insert now but I'm going to utilize the camera to show you guys what this actually looks like underneath the microscope so if you want to do the same you can and zoom in slightly and bring it closer Okay, until you have a nice picture. Right guys, so now that you've had a nice look at what the onion epidermis looks like underneath the microscope, I then want you guys to have a look and see what it looks like if I put one drop of iodine on it. Okay, so I'm just going to drop one drop of iodine solution. So guys, now I have the iodine solution on my plate over the epidermis layer of the onion and I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like now. I'll take a photo this time and not a video to show you the difference.